Hello everyone, this is Dinesh. In today's session, let's discuss about the functional modules and technical modules in SAP, the difference between them, list of modules in SAP, and the use cases alongside, right? So firstly, what is modules in SAP? Since SAP software is used by multiple departments within the company, SAP has just bifurcated and named it as modules that serves each department. Right, it's nothing but the features of the SAP that has been grouped together to serve common purpose for each department of a company. That's it. You, you will, you know, will understand more in detail as we move along in this video. Also, I would like you to know something before getting into the list of, you know, functional and technical modules in SAP. They are configuration. Uh, you know, we need to know these two terms especially so that it would be easier for you to understand functional and technical models in a better way and also you know how it is categorized in SAP environment as well. So first thing is configuration and the second word is customization. Okay, these two are the most important two words. So let me just try to explain you in simple terms. So configuration in simple terms, I would say configuration is equal to the settings function in your smartphone. So I believe everyone would have a smartphone, right? And you will have a settings uh, function as well. So what are you doing in the settings app in your smartphone? You know, it just like it lists all the options and you are selecting the option that best suits you, right? Configuration is similar kind of a function. It's the same thing. It's more like performing settings in your IT software to suit the business requirements, right? So one important thing here is uh, we don't need to know any coding here. We are not going to do any coding here since we are just going to select the right setting. We are not going to do any coding here as I said. So here you will need some functional skills like the uh, business skills, business acumen, understanding about the business, understanding about various business processes, how it operates. But then you may not require much of technical skills like coding, understanding, uh, you know, technical language. So I will, you know, probably show an example as well how it works. And the next one is customization. So here it is more like uh, changing the standard way. Like uh, you are going to write a code and change the standard operating process. So in, especially in SAP, SAP has written a code and uh, it defines the best practices. It defines how a process should happen. But in technical skill, using customization, you're going to change, uh, you mean, when I say change, you're going to rewrite the code and change as per the business requirements. So this is what we call it as customization. So the major difference between configuration and customization is in configuration, you will do setting, you will not write any code uh, and you will not touch any standard business process that has been defined by SAP, that is configuration. Customization is all about technical skills. You are going to write a code. You're going to rewrite the code that has been written by SAP and you are going to modify, uh, you know, the business process that has been defined by SAP. So, you know, let me show one example using YouTube itself to understand this better so that, uh, you know, uh, you don't want to remember it. Rather, you can just uh, learn as you saw it. Let me just open my YouTube channel. So if you go to the YouTube, let me just get into the settings icon. So I mean, in the end, you have the settings icon. So if I go and see here, what you're seeing here. So it's all about just settings based on your needs. So should I want to see notifications? Should I want to get notifications in my browser? Is it yes or no? If it is yes, should I want to just put it over here? And uh, within notifications, what are all the things should I want to be notified? If a new subscriber is added, should I want to get notified? If any recommended videos, any activities like uh, any comments or any likes, whatever. So should I want to get notification? It's all just, you know, just click off a button. I'm not writing any code. I'm not putting std, io.h or nothing. No coding, nothing. I'm just putting it over here. I mean, left or right, it's just the settings uh, i don't want to explain it further because everyone uses smartphones these days and everyone is aware how settings options work right so this is how so each and everything so i you know let me not get into the details 
but this is how a normal settings looks like right this is what i call it as i mean not i everyone call it as configuration so you are just setting the system as per your requirements here in sap system you are going to setting the same system as per the business requirements that's it that is the difference so that is configuration and let me just get into the customization part of it let me just open the youtube uh from mm, now let me just time. open one video so if you see here as per youtube standards it says that uh, the channel name should come here should i want to i mean it should highlight whether it is subscribed or not uh how many likes so it is saying 39 people have liked it so i am saying this is the standard process that has been defined by youtube right but for me i want to see how many people disliked this video and also i want to see the share button not here but rather here the first option should be share and then subscription and then the likes and then the dislikes with numbers should i can i do it or any end users can do it they can't right because the control is with youtube but then if youtube wants to do it they can do it but then again they want to do the i mean they want to write the coding they want to rewrite the code they want to change the standard process that has been identified them so this is what customization is all about so as i said here uh, i want the share button to be here first one and then i want to see the number of people dislike this video here i can't see it but if youtube wants to show it they can but as per their process they are not showing it but then this is a standard process and if i want to rewrite if i want to change it that's the customization gets into the picture okay so i hope now you understood what is uh, you know the difference between configuration and customization so coming back to our topic yeah so now what i am saying is uh you know let me first list down the functional modules and technical modules in sap and then i will uh, walk you through on uh, why it is called as functional modules and why something is called as a technical module yeah so let's start with the functional modules some of the very common functional modules in sap are fico very very common so the full form is financial accounting and controlling right so it deals it is majorly used by the finance team in an organization and it deals with more like uh, you know uh, accounts payable or accounts receivable like cash management uh, uh, interactions with bank so all those things that has been related with uh, your cost your uh, you know spends everything will be taken care by this fico module which we call it as financial accounting and controlling okay and then the next one is sd we call it as sales and distribution so all your interactions with the end customers your sales order raising sales invoices sales quotations your you know transportation part of it all those things will be taken care by this sd module which is sales and distribution and the next one is mm so we call it as materials management so all those interactions with your vendors or suppliers uh, you know for, for any manufacturing company if you want to manufacture something you need some raw materials right so uh, and then you need to buy it from some other vendors or the suppliers so all those interactions uh, like you know raising a purchase order choosing a vendor um the uh, releasing a purchase invoice so all those interactions will be taken care by materials management and it is used by the procurement team majorly yeah and then pp we call it as production planning so all those uh, activities that happens in a manufacturing floor like uh, you know we call something like mrp materials requirement planning so like uh, how many products are produced what is the type of production Uh, all those assembly lines so all those activities will be managed by this production planning module and then we have something like quality management yeah so here it's more like you know uh, managing all your quality inspections 
uh, whatever the products that has been you you received from your vendors or whatever the products that has been produced in your manufacturing floor so all those quality inspection starting from creating quality inspection managing monitoring all those things will be taken care by this quality management also you know it compares something like a threshold limit so every product will have some threshold limits all those activities are managed by quality management and then we have something like pm plant maintenance so uh, for any given company for any manufacturing company or any given company there would be multiple missions right so to manage those missions starting from uh, corrective maintenance breakdown maintenance breakdown maintenance in the sense if and all you got any repair in your uh, missions how it is going to be addressed or even predictive maintenance like every six months or every three months you need to maintain this mission maintain in the sense you need to oil the machine or you need to service the machine or you need to completely you know break into pieces and you need to assemble it again or whatever whatever the type of maintenance it is so all those items or all those activities are managed in plant maintenance and the last core model like the last uh, major functional model i'd say is ps project systems so say for example if a company is building another plant or another location so all those capital projects all those items starting from uh, you know manpower resource manpower hiring building a plant building buying a machinery all those projects are managed in you know, project systems so they use something like wbs or work the work breakdown structure so i'm not getting into detail uh, the reason is i'm planning to you know come up with uh, one detailed video for each and every module in the upcoming sessions as well so for now let me just give you a very high level overview very very high level overview this session is typically to understand the difference between functional modules the list of modules and the technical modules right so that is the whole objective of this video so these are all some of the functional modules in sap some of the most majorly or i would say the core modules that has been used in sap uh, fraternity and then let's jump into the technical modules so in technical modules uh, one of the major module is abap so we call it as uh, advanced business application programming yeah so uh, what it is is uh, actually sap is written in abap language so we call abap consultants as the technical consultants who will customize the sap system like you know as we discussed in youtube right this is the share button should come first or should i i want to see the number of uh, people dislike the video as well so all those uh, uh, you know code changes whoever can touch the code whoever can write the code or whoever can modify the standard operating process uh, in sap or called as abap and they you know use this abap language to modify it uh, that is a separate session i am also planning to come up with riceif objects which is the custom objects we call it in uh, uh, sap but uh, let's not get into those details for now uh, since it is a very initial stage so for now there, are, there is one module in technical which we call it as abap and sap is written on abap language and uh, about consultants are the one who has the authorization to rewrite the code right and then there is a, another set of technical module which is called basis basis so so basis uh, is majorly to manage the hardware part of sap so again sap is a software that needs to be hosted somewhere right so uh, the server uh, you know the server management the infrastructure management part of it storage part the backup the antivirus so all those activities which a typical it person that uh, do in any it uh, uh, i mean in any company that is taken care by a basis consultant respective to sap related activities so so majorly they used to manage the hardware where sap system has been hosted they used to you know create create users users as well because in sap we can create multiple users and they will also assign with the respective roles based on their usage so all those things all those activities will be taken care by the basis uh, module so those people are called as basis consultants and the last one i would like to highlight here is the theory module 
So Fury is kind of a user experience module in SAP. So especially in S4 HANA, Fury is the uh, you know front end uh, UX that's been used by most of the companies. So so Fury consultant uh, as part of the technical, they will manage the user interface. Uh, again, as I said in uh, YouTube example, uh, if I want to change the background of a of a module, or I mean background color or any change in the user interface or even you know should I want to create some custom Fury apps so all those things all those activities will be taken care by a Fury consultant huh? so so on a high level uh, these are all the major core modules in uh, SAP so again just a quick recap on functional side we have FICO, SD, MM, PP, QM, PM PS and on the technical modules we have ABAP, Basis and Fury. Okay, so now, so uh, I mean you know we have gone through the list of functional modules and technical modules. Now let's correlate both customization and configuration what we discussed initially and what is the relationship they have with functional modules and technical modules. So if you see here the functional modules uh, will be are taken care by consultants who are called as functional consultants right so here they are called as functional consultants yeah and their primary job is to perform configurations in the sap system so they are going to perform configurations they are not going to do customizations they will do only configuration. So, so you know what is configuration means, right? It's more about uh, setting setting up the system based on the business requirements. So, they will understand the requirements from the customer and they perform the configurations in the system. Like, uh, you know, settings in the SAP system. So, again, you are aware that they will not do any coding here. So, this is a major difference uh, as, you know, they, uh, they will understand the requirements from the customer and they will do all those settings in the SAP system. That's it. And one major thing is they will face the customer and uh, they should be strong in understanding the business, understanding the business processes. They should have business skills. So they are more into business side rather than the technical, rather than the coding side. So that is the major thing with functional consultant. Moving on. Technical consultants, uh, I mean, the technical modules are taken care by consultants uh, who are called as technical consultants. So, let me just write it over here. And their primary job is to rewrite the code and customize the system as per the business requirements. Right? So, here this way customization happens. So, configuration happens in functional side. The customizations happens in the technical side yeah so also and in most of the cases i would say technical consultants will not face the customers and uh, but then they work closely with the functional consultants so all these functional consultants to understand the requirements and customize the system uh, as per the business requirements yeah so they may not face the customer but they should be very strong on the technical side they should do coding in the system they should know how to manage the server they should know how to create users they should know uh, you know how to completely customize the system and uh, modify as per the business requirement that is the most important thing for a technical consultant yeah so i think uh, that's it for today these are the you know list of uh, most commonly used functional and technical modules in sap world and you know these are some of the basic differences i would say also please note that uh, sap has n number of other modules as well like uh, you know sap ewm ppds ibp there are a lot of n number of models i can just go on and on sap is uh, like ocean i would say but uh, these are all the core modules these are all uh, the most widely most commonly used uh, sap models in the world um, and uh, these are all some of the models very 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 commonly implemented in almost uh, all the SAP implementations across the globe. So that's why I just you know listed down around how many seven plus three, just ten models over here. 
but uh, in sap i would say more than 50 modules are there easily so so that's it for today thank you everyone thank you so much see you in the next video so